Hello and welcome to our Code for Kids course on JavaScript, my first game, lesson number four. We are having a look at our final lesson of learning JavaScript, the introduction, and lesson number four gives us a really good overview on exactly what we have done and then introduces arguments, which is the furthest we will go in this course. Thereafter, you can do a project on Test the Dog in JavaScript to recap everything that's been done and to get your learners to create different challenges as well as complete a project that you can then share. In this lesson, we're going to start by recapping what was new last week. So we added a new function called change color. And inside the brackets of, of this function, you could add the different colors that you wanted to change the ball. So you would put ball, change the color, put ball, change the color, and Tess could drop balls of different colors. We also looked at the function full row, which allowed you to create the function once or define the function and then call it after you may have changed the color. Then you could drop a whole row of different colors. Today we are going to introduce Tess's friend called Spot. We have to call Tess or Spot when we are talking to them. So this means that both Tess and Spot can move and both Tess and Spot can put the ball down. So if we just write put the ball, we don't know who's going to put the ball. Now inside here we call this an argument. So when we pass an argument into a function, we are giving it, we are specifying it. Now let's go and use this in practice. We'll start off with the quiz. What is the correct code to make spot turn left? So you've got turn left, you've got turn left spot, turn left and then spot as the argument and then you've got turn spot left. So it is C. Right, I think we are ready. You can go through that pretty slowly with your learners and we can say hi I'm spot, good to meet you and then this is what it's going to look like and then explaining that these things inside the brackets are called arguments and so if you want to call each um, dog, you have to call them individually. All right, let's have a look at task number zero. Again, this is the one you would do with them together. Task zero, we have a new dog called Spot. She's over here. Make Tess and Spot fill their rows as in the answer tab. So if we have a look at the answer tab, we've got task zero, we've got a um, normal ball color all along the top, the tennis ball color, and then we've got Spot dropping blue balls. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven balls here, and so we are going to get Tess to drop seven balls. The moment she's only dropping two. All right, and then we need to change spots color to blue. Let's press play and see what happens. Fantastic. So we can see we are dropping balls of a, of different colors, and B, we are getting different dogs to drop different balls. Okay, that's quite a nice one. Let's move on to task one. Change the color of Tess and Spot's balls as in the answer tab. So we're Tess with green balls here, putting the ball, moving, putting the ball, moving, turning left, then she moves again, puts the ball, turns left, moves, puts the ball. So you can see she's only dropping three balls at the moment, and she hasn't changed the color to red, which we needed to do. I think the first thing we need to do is change the color to red before her, her fourth put ball. And then we need to add a put ball test. Okay, let's have a look at that. Okay, so now we have one less put ball. So that should be good. Then spot needs to go from pink to blue. She's working away from the bottom. So she changes, um, here's spot, so we go pink. We need three, she turns left, that's fine. And then we need a change color function to blue. And one extra ball at the bottom. Awesome, and that looks like the answer tab. So that was just task one. Now write a function called turn test right that turns test right instead of left three times. Okay, so we've got turn test right. That's always underneath our function instruction um, curly bracket. And we know that turn test right is turn left test three times. And so we're going to do that. And then we're going to replace all the 
turn left tess with turn tess right. And then we obviously need to check that it still works. And it does. Brilliant. All right, moving along. Task number three, complete the function, turn test right, and replace it with lines 15 to 17. We're going to take these turn left tests with test as the argument. I'm going to copy it. Oh, no, it's here for us already. So just adding Tess's name in there, and then we need to replace that there. Right, so that's just Tess. Let's see what she does. Yeah, she can turn right. And Spot can too, but he's turning left three times. So now in task four, we want to create a whole new function. So remember, we always do that after the function instructions. Give ourselves some space. So this is turn, spot, right. And we need to replace all of these with spot. And then we can delete those three lines of code and make it one line of code. And that's that. So as you can see, it is quite a difficult task. We're pushing the learners a little bit further. And so like I said, if you want to take a little bit longer to sort out um, these arguments, you can. Five, add test and spot on lines 16 and 30 and check that the function works. So we've got this adding of an argument to turn right. So now it seems like turn right is going to work if test and spot are arguments. Okay, last time we made actual functions for them. Yeah, and it does work. So let's have a look at what the difference is. So here we made individual functions of turn test right. We don't have an argument in there, but we know that it, the function worked for turn test left, and we put the argument inside. Here we, we had to make a whole new function for turn spot right. What we've got now is just one function called turn right, and then the argument is any dog. Argument is any dog. So it's going to work for any dog that you replace. So we're going to now discuss, and you can discuss this as a class, what do you notice about the function turn right? So we have discussed that. Change the word any dog to a random word. Say argument and see what happens. So what we want the learners to understand here is that this can be replaced with any word as long as it's the same word. And this argument will work. Fantastic. But if we left this um, as any dog, and it's not the same, she's then, then test stops at two turn left. So what we're trying to say here is that what we've done is created a general function with an argument. So now we can use the function turn right um, with any dog, and we don't have to define specific functions for turn spot right and turn test right. Because imagine if we had a hundred dogs and we had to create a hundred different turn rights. Now all we have to do is, is place the name of the dog inside the argument of turn right when we are calling the function underneath the function instructions. And because we have a general turn right function, that'll work for all of them. Feel free to look up arguments under w3schools.com and it explains it really nicely as well if you're still not sure. Okay, now finally we have come to the challenge. Make a function called move2 to move either of the dogs two jumps at a time and replace the code to make it shorter. Okay, so we need to move either of the dogs so we can write either dog. And as long as either dog is constant, we can then replace the move with move2. So move to test. Okay, now it should jump them to, yes it does. Brilliant, so this is working for either of the dogs 
and we are moving to and replacing those two lines of code with just one line of code, keeping it really neat. Because remember, that's what functions do. They save us time and they save us space. Right, that is the end of lesson number four. Um, congratulations to, to getting to the end of the core lessons. Uh, please do have a look at the project, see what you would like to continue with in your next lesson. All the best for teaching this lesson number four. Good luck.